What I noticed in the past is that there is a certain style which is getting more and more popular in the esports community. So I thought about making a video to explain how they do this style. So you can make some awesome motion designs with it. But anyway, if you want to see more videos like this, I would appreciate a like, comment or subscribe. Let's get right into it. Today we will make this intro. And sorry for my voice, I ate the real Skeenix, I am sorry. Firstly we need to create a new composition with the following settings. If you want you can also use 60 FPS, but I personally like 16 more for this specific style. Ok now you need a audio, you can use a song drop or a few sound effects like I do, all my sounds and textures are in the description. If you find your correct song we will make the particles for the intro. Just drag and drop the particles from the description. And make them smaller, with pressing S on your keyboard. Right click and pre-compose the layer. Now double click the layer and click on the composition settings to make it 8 frames long. Try to make every second frame individual, make the particles bigger, rotate them and then it should work. You can press S for open the scale bar, and R for rotation. Go back to your main comp. Now right click on the layer and enable timer mapping on the time setting. After moving the K-frame one frame backwards you ALT click on the stopwatch. Now click on the play button and choose the loop out property. It may be sounds a bit hard, but you will get used to it. If you want you can decrease the speed of the particles with right click on time and stretch time to 300%. Nice. Now we can add a curves effect to make the curve a bit lower. Ok we need to put the mode of the layer to add and you are finished with the first part. For the next part we want to create some text animations. Click on the text tool and type in your text. Make sure to have the distance to zero. I will use the font impact. It is a very good font for any sports projects. Make the text scaling to 344% and go to the anchor point tool and make it in the middle of the text. We add the align tool to our project. Click on window and then align. Nice. Now we can use the align tool to make it in the center of the composition. Here is a small cool tip. If you want to have a 1080p project in the center, the position is always 960x540. Now if you like you can duplicate the layer with pressing Ctrl and D to make another text. I use designs for the second text. If you don't have a second text you don't have to make it. Make it smaller and make the text white. I use the font Geographic Bold. I make the text smaller and a red background. Go to the Shape tool and make a big full screen rectangle. The background layer is under every other layer. Now you can colorize the first text white and the second text gray. If you want to add a slogan or another text, you can add it under the main text. I use the same font but for the slashes I use the color gray. Now we make it smaller and add a distance with 600. Okay. 
OK, now we hide both text layers and we create shape layers by right clicking on the main text. Type in path and click on every stopwatch. Go one second further and set up again the stopwatches. Now go to the first keyframes and use the selection tool. Drag your mouse over the half letter. And try to move it with holding shift under the preview screen. You can rewatch this part if it wasn't clear. The S letter in this font is not ideal but it still works. Play a bit around and try to make a good looking stretching. It is important that the letter is not visible in the first keyframe and then in the second keyframe it is normal. Ok let's do this with each letter, one to the bottom, one to the top. If you got any question you can ask in the comments, I will try to help you. Awesome, now highlight all keyframes press F9. And go the graph editor to make the curves like mine. Now go to effects and presets and add a echo effect. Add one more zero after the zero for the echo speed and click on the echo operator to make it composition in the back. We need 13 echo copies. If you want to make the second text animated, we will need to create shapes from text with right clicking on the layer. Now search for position and make the same keyframe technique like last animation. Now we simply move the position from the text as we want. I move the half part of the letters to the left and the other to the right. Keep in mind, select only the first, not the last keyframe we want to have in animation. If you like you can customize the animation. Copy the echo effect from the previous text with Ctrl and C and paste it with Ctrl and V to the second text. Very cool, now you learned a few text animation techniques. Now we learn another technique. Create a rectangle shape and make sure it S over the small third text. Then you make a simple positioning animation on the third text. Use the keyframes and don't forget to press F9 while highlight the keyframes and make the curves like mine. Enable Alpha Inverted Mode on the text layer. Now we create a small text and move it to the right top corner. Duplicate it with Ctrl D and move it in the right bottom corner. Let's make a simple position animation. Set to keyframes and make the first position keyframe out of the screen. Don't forget to press F9 to easy ease the keyframes and go in the graph editor and make the curves like mine. Select both layers and make up recomposition. Move it to the left. Oh 
Okay cool now we have finished the text part. Now let's make a shape like a rectangle and color it to dark gray. Let's move the anchor point to the bottom middle of the rectangle. Animate the position of the rectangle to go down. Also animate the scaling. Make sure to uncheck the box next to the both scales. Press U to see all your keyframes. Ok nice but it looks a little stiff ghost and it? Let's use the magic trick. Press F9 and go to the graph editor and make the curves like mine. Now play a bit around, move the scaling keyframes, and try to make it look cool and impactful. Now we simply duplicate the shape and customize it to get a different feeling on each one. Make a pre-composition of the duplicate and press R to make the rotation to 180, 270 or 90. Open the scaling with S on your keyboard and uncheck the box again and make the scaling a bit different to the other. Let's do the same with a third shape. Now we add some blinking to it. Select the three shape layers and precomps and then press Ctrl D and Shift at the same time to cut the layers. Move the second cut one frame away with a small delay compared to the other two shape layers. Let's add a transition for the beginning. Go to the scale bar and I'll make sure your anchor point is in the middle of the shape layer. You can move it with the anchor point tool. Then open the scaling and again uncheck the box and make the first keyframe the left scaling to 0% and the other to 100%. F9 and curves and we are done. So you noticed, the principle is the same. Let's duplicate it, move it to the top of all layers, and colorize it dark gray. Cut the layer at the second keyframe with Ctrl D and Shift and add another cut to it in the last half part of the shape layer. Make a gap between it to get that blinky feeling. You can also make the keyframes a bit faster here, so just move the second keyframe near to the first. Make sure it fits to the sound or song, if not, you can leave it or add a sound which is suitable. Congratulations, you almost made it. Now let's move on the final part and add small details. Let's add some details. We will make the text a bit more impactful. Select the main text outlines and search for position. Now we add 3 times position keyframes to each letter with a distance at about 0,3 seconds. Click on the stopwatch to make a keyframe. Add to the second keyframe a right position at about minus 20. To the next keyframe we add a right position at about 30 or 20. And so on. Press F9 and deselect all keyframes to easy ease. Make the curves like mine. Make sure it's impacting and fitting with the sounds. We want a fast position animation.
Let's make adjustment layer by right clicking and cut it to 2 frames long with Ctrl D Shift. Add the effect invert and make sure it's on lightness. Also make it fit to the sounds again. Duplicate it with Ctrl D and move it to another fitting sound place. Duplicate the adjustment layer again and delete the invert effect. Add the twitch effect or S shake effect if you have it installed. If not it's okay, you can download, buy it or leave it. Amount is 37 and speed 32. Enable the slide and put it in the impact. For the last detail we right click and make a new black solid. We put it to the end after a small gap between the invert adjustment layer. Nice now you are finished. I hope everything was clear to you, if you got any questions, let me know. Also make sure to like and subscribe my channel to receive more videos about After Effects. But anyway, thank you for watching.